major events for 10 years my heart rate has never been this high we are in the esports theater of dreams and it never fails to deliver here in poland this is absolute magic for anyone who enjoys esports welcome back to esl1 katowice we are ready to get underway so without further ado i think before i think they're confident planning that i'm gonna have to go with uh, nip so i'm gonna go with nip and i'm gonna double down on nip and Way, so let's get straight in the game. NIP are coming into this one as the top seed. They are starting out as the T side up against Counter Logic Gaming. Oh, start from Fryberg, oh, just a brilliant start for them. Just getting themselves warmed up on the big stage as well. And NIP looking a dominant T side so far on morale. Although the rest of the team, it's all oh. sorts of fake, but Fryberg was ready. Really, this is going to be everything for CLG. It has to start now, there's no other way of looking at it. It looks like a disaster for CLG. They don't make mistakes in the group stage, they don't leave it to the last minute. What a game from NIP, really just showing us that they are not a team to be doubted. And of course, you know, every single time, every single major, they get to that grand final and they seem to be taking the first steps towards doing so. Like yesterday, 
I didn't show as much as I could, but I feel confident about my own form and I suppose I will show it in the playoffs. Coming into Katowice, it's a great tournament here in Poland. There's a lot of fans, like it's the biggest tournament at all we've ever attended. Even from last year, there was uh, so many people watching in the grand final and uh, we lost it to Virtus Pro, so. It was one of the most disappointing finals overall for my personal career, mostly because we didn't stand up. We have a really high desire to win this tournament and uh, we're here for revenge. When we lost the final last year, all I want to do now is go up there again and play against Virtus Pro and beat them. I feel that um, NIP don't need a star, but I definitely have the potential to be a star player. I felt that I haven't been on, on my highest level the past couple of weeks or months, so I really put in a lot of hours to, um, to prove myself that I am one of the best players in the world. And uh, I think so far it's been proven correctly here, and I'm going to do everything my, I can to make sure that we will win here in Katowice. I suppose if I can do my role correctly, we will win this event. We are not scared of them. To win the tournament you always have to beat the best teams and we really have uh, want to prove and to show the world that uh, NIP is becoming what, uh, where they should have been these past few months. Uh, I think we all figured it out how we want to play and we all agree that we play as a team and we win as a team and that's our motivation right now and so we don't care about who gets the frag as long as someone gets the frags. Individually I feel like I'm on a good level right now but going to the playoffs, everyone needs to step up, and uh, so do I. I can see myself standing on stage with a trophy in my hand. Uh, I know the feeling since we won in Cologne, and it was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. And I can, I will, I want, I want to do everything I can to be able to, to have that trophy in my hand once again. Winning in Spodek Arena would be amazing. The atmosphere there is just different from everything else, and. Uh, and for this year, it's become even bigger, and I, this is something that me personally wants to win. The crowd that was on that big stage last year, it was just a wonderful feeling to be there, and I just want to make everyone proud of myself. I have, uh, I've had for almost a year now, and ever since we've been here at Spodek Arena, I lost to Virtus Pro 2-0 in the final. I've had this huge regret uh, knowing that we could have done so much better. So I've been dreaming of this day the, when it would be us lifting the trophy instead of Virtus Pro. So. Against TSM, it's going to be a hard game. I feel we are the more, more skilled team. So I expect us to win, but it won't come easy. They're a really strong team and they kind of knew how we play, so it will be a tough game for sure. But uh, I think that if we play our game, we should win it and go to the semifinals. The game against uh, TSM that's coming up in the quarterfinal here at Katowice is going to be a tough one. Uh, it's a team we've been practicing a lot lately and they know our play style and we know their play style. Uh, I think we have their number though. We have beaten them several times online and on LAN before, so it should be, we should, we should win the game. But the thing we have uh, an edge on them is that we're much stronger. If we come to the finals and I'm standing there against any opponent who's standing in front of us, I just want to be after three hours after the game is done, standing there with a the trophy, hearing the crowd screaming my, my name and my team's name and we are victor victorious on this tournament. It, it's, a, it's a dream to win here. Thank you very much, uh, Alex. That is going to be an amazing game. We had the last quarterfinals of this major tournament. It's a tough call because I, I, I do believe that TSN really needs to step up their play from compared to day one. But at the same time, um, NIP, the uh, pressure is mounting and building to bigger heights. Harrigan Civics with good kills, but Adol comes in, takes what takes to an enormous amount of damage from the Molotov, but way too much. Cajun goes down, ball fire, right position, get right, what a flick comes out there. Oh my god! Takes down device! He's gonna get cut to the... 
pieces. A hot disaster for us with a quad kill on the round. It was a 2v3. Oh, and there it is. Get right. Last man standing device. That draw speed. He's going he's to go down. If that had been the old C set, it would have been no issue at all. Get right. Trying to AWP. And 1v2. Running up here with P250 out. Jumping and shooting. He gets one more kill. Looking for it. He's got him hunted down. Time is up. Oh my god. Get right. You're going to be kidding me. He gets the last kill in one second left. down to Dupree. Dupree's just doing so much work in this round. Get right, drops the bomb as it tries to cross over. And he's in a good position. Oh, oh. what? Oh my god, that's Get right getting a jumping shot. up against TSM with NIP prevailing in quite a uh, convincing fashion so Inferno is going to be our second map. Lantern is the only issue up on this map and uh, so it seems like any doubt that they did have about NIP has been blown away with that Dust 2 game and so our Dust thinks NIP before they really can here. Dupree takes down one, he's jumping, they're in the back here, he gets another one, get right, still holding it down, Dupree, oh he gets it as well! What a round from Dupree, that is a big clutch 1v3. About 10 bullets left and oh my god, he gets it, TSM! Six rounds in, what a clutch from Sipnix. You should know, he sees Alu as well, he wants to see if there's another one he can kill, he spots both of them, he gets one, oh my god, the right! That is insane, takes down Alu and Freiburg! What a next level play! It looks like it's the end here on Inferno for NIP. This is a disastrous situation, in fact, for, for NIP. The tables have been turned since Dust 2. Were you expecting this? <laughs> Not really. I don't think anyone was. Or if, if someone says they were expecting this, then I think they're lying. This is the third map here at the quarterfinals. Seems to me that uh, in spite of that really impressive victory over on Inferno, people still feel like NIP uh, have what it takes now. Last rounds of this match, it feels like they're starting to wake up. No! Force and get right. You don't ever want to face those two guys in a two on. Well, even if you were three or four guys, it's always going to be scary. We want to take them down, they want to take us down. 
and it's all going to be to the best team to just win and go into this Podek arena. Fnatic is waiting in the, in the finals tomorrow. Does that play at all into your mind? No, not right now. We, we can't think about that now. We have Envy in front of us and we have to beat them. The core of Envy actually were like the biggest opponents of NIP when they were going like 87 and 0, whatever their record was. This is a replay of the last stream hack, so there's no doubt in my mind that NIP really, really want to win this. And as you heard from Exist, they, they really, really are prepared for this. In the mind of MV, they've already won this. They've done this before. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is Ninjas in Pajamas up against Team Envious. And this is the semi-final to see who will join Fnatic in tomorrow's grand final. The reload get might will get the second. And I'd be take the pistols. And that's what all that warm up time was for. Oh, oh, the Kenrite and Forest come around and, well, they just clean up. will be enough, but now it is happy. Two on one situation. This in-game leader, can he do enough? Flicks around, will get one. He's gonna have to sneak into the smoke. Not gonna work out for him. And that will be map point. A fantastic start for NIP, hoping that they could see themselves making it to the fifth major run in. We'll see how it works out, ladies and gentlemen. Hesitation. Working wonders here, Team Envy have got themselves a couple of kills, one more to go. Exist holds steady, I don't think he's going to turn this one around, but he's got three. Can he make it four? Yes, he can. Sadly, no time. He is in a one on three situation. Is it going to be enough? Happy comes around the side. We can try and salvage the situation for Envy here. And this has gone from bad to worse. This would be match point for Ninja Super Pajamas to make it through to the final against Fnatic. Will he get the surprise on Smith? He comes around, you bet your life he does. That's the all down. Oh, he's got the point carrier down. This is NIP looking to win this one and go through to the final. Smith's the last man standing. Looks across. Welcome to the ESL 1 Katowice Finals. Today, we will make history. Now it's time to prepare ourselves for the grand final. 16 teams was what we started with. Now just two remain. When you think of NIP, you think of finals every major. You think of these strong performances. They are known for showing up in their big matches. But when you say that, you also have to consider they've been in every major final and they've only won one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Here we go. It's the ESL 1. The pounding heart of esports beats louder here in Katowice. The world's best Counter-Strike players are now on stage. Fnatic have armor. They've got a great crossfire setup. There's almost no way out of this for Freiburg, but he's going to have to try. Giving up at this point is definitely not an option. Walks in. What a headshot. Takes one. Keeps free. That's a double. Now he's got the clock on. Look at that. He can finish it for the triple. NIP is now in a lot of trouble. Forest with two big headshots. Crimson Pronax both down. And there it is, NIP. They get the wires cut, they win the round. And now the game is definitely on. And the Tech 9 not enough, but oh, what a shot from Existence. And this is Nip with momentum right now. Look at these shots they're hitting. Exist with that shot top mid. Freiburg and Exist left. 2v3, they're on either side of the map and Exist 
He's done it before, he's gonna have to do it again. They're coming around the corner, he gets one, tries to get two. Oh, he exists, and now Freiburg in a 1v1 versus Flusher. <laughs> Now into the site, Adam is all that's left standing for an AP, and he will get out of there. Fnatic take it, Fnatic will go to a map point Fnatic up. running away with it, Alu alone, and there it is, Fnatic, they claim dust too. This is what we live for, and this is Fnatic versus NAP, the grand final. He's ready, are you going to make some noise? It's easier said than done. Alu has his hat trick frag. Forrest and Freiburg downed elsewhere. Is this the moment when Alu truly announces himself to the world stage? Pronax looking to stop them in their tracks. Alu headshot off Meister down. Pronax out for the count. It's flusher or bust. And Alu gets it. And the man is coming alive in these finals. Back. Going down and just opens up to stop Olofmeister taking a dangerous position. Frank number two for Get Right is Flusher. JW might be the third, but Freiburg will take it off his toes. And then Freiburg's double, and NIP come alive to the sound of Fraggy once more. It's Frims about to open up coming into A on Forest, but it's Pronax who will get there first. Get Right has his second frag. Will he go for number three? Will he get number four? Unbelievable play from Get Right. He's got four. JW is the last man standing, and he'll go down. And Get Right is in the form of his life. Simply unplayable. And the one map where, where, where Nip took it away from them was on Inferno against pretty much all the odds. It's weird because like my brain and my knowledge of demo watching and just how, watching how Fnatic's been so dominant on this map over the last year, just slaughtering people on CT, seeing that they're starting CT makes me want to pick Fnatic. But something about Majors and NIP and just this vibe I get from this team. Whoa, it's been a slaughter. No, no, no. And I was going to say Crims, but no more! Bronex wins the round for Fnatic. Let's see if they can rush here before the rotation gets in. Crims missing the shot, he goes down to Alu. Or it's very important that they stabilize here. And Flusher's going ham with the P90, getting up two kills. Olofmeister to take Freiburg. It's back and forth, and JW falls, and I'm not sure how. Careful, because Olofmeister's very nearly dead. And oh, Alu, what a shot! He gets the triple kill, and now it's all on Olofmeister. One grenade out, Olof fakes it here, and Alu gets the kill, and it's a quad in the follow-up round. And NIP steal it back. Big stuff from Forrest. Flusher and Pronex down as they try to make entry in towards B. And Hit just yet, but he could in a second. This combination, the crossfire is so powerful. Alu with the one, gets the double, goes for the triple, and there it is. Alu cleaning up. And that will be the round for NIP, 14 to 5. Welcome to Counter-Strike, ladies and gentlemen. The game is at its peak. You could ask for no better entertainment. Flusher will get the opening assist. That's one by goes for the kill, gets a double. One more kill, that's a triple kill. It's JW, he'll bring that number down to two. And here we go, Fnatic are on the verge. Alu says no, and there are not much health left across those Fnatic players either. Alu and Get Right versus Olaf Meister alone now. And it will be Get Right that pulls NIP back from the brink. And delivers the defuse. Grand finals, Pronax and Crims. They just need to two kills here and they will win it. For the second time, Pronax with one Freiburg. Oh, 